so it's Sunday and as you can see I've cut my hair well okay not cut my hair but I've shaved my head I've spent a lot of the day listening to music and I mean lots and lots of music I also spent three hours with Jesse on MSN and we were we began by f watching flash mobs on YouTube and it kind of eventually turned into watching this guy called Aaron Fotheringham I'll put his name down below here, he has a YouTube channel under this name so uh, yeah go and watch him, he's really good He's a, he's a um, he calls himself a professional hardcore sitter and this is the reason why when people ask me do you really hate being in a wheelchair no I don't and that guy is the reason why I, I mean um, it's hard to explain what he does in words, it's just something that's rather amazing and I don't have an explanation for it but go and watch it and you'll see what I mean and you'll see and understand when I say to you how can I possibly hate being in a wheelchair when there's guys like this who can do what they do so I spent three hours with Jesse on MSN sharing links back and forth with different videos of him on YouTube and it was kind of fun to watch. I enjoy I never get tired of watching him. He's awesome. I had a Dutch lesson. Yep, another hour on Skype with Jess. That was nice and fun. And I have another Dutch lesson in four days. Yep, and this Dutch lesson is going to last two weeks. That's because Jesse arrives here in England on Thursday. The plane lands at 12.50, I think. So I'm taking you guys with me to the airport. And we're going to go find Jess. Yeah, we are. So it's 10.50 at night. It's Tuesday night. Today has been another cleaning day. Actually, it started off as being a little bit of a shopping day. I had to go and buy an air mattress. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have nowhere to sleep when <laughs> Thursday comes. Well, that's actually not true because I could sleep on the recliner in this room because our sofas recline, our sofa, sorry, reclines so I could sleep on that, I often do actually sleep on that but my dad usually gets up at around 5 or 6 in the morning and if he's getting up at 5 or 6 in the morning every day for two weeks I don't want to be disturbed every day at 5 or 6 in the morning for two weeks so I or an air mattress so I can have somewhere to sleep that's away from the recliner. Um, it was relatively cheap so that's okay. I was fighting to pump that up though when I was at the store the lady behind the counter said that I could get a pump for the air mattress and it's offered at a special price if I buy it with the mattress so I could get the pump for four pounds instead of eight pounds now that's kind of cool so I went for that and got it home and when I did get it home I figured out that there were no batteries included with it so I then had to go and spend seven pounds buying batteries for the pump I thought it was just like I'll show you I thought it was just something like this this is the pump that I use to pump my wheelchair tires up with. And kind of that comes out, and then you can pump up the tires with this. I thought it would be something like that that would fit the valve of an airbed, but apparently not. It was a big box type thing, and it was a, a battery powered thing. So, yeah, I had to buy batteries for it, which kind of sucked, but oh well. That's how life goes. It's finally pumped up. I'm not going to sleep on it tonight though. I am however going to put clean sheets on the bed tomorrow so tomorrow night I will be sleeping on it because Jessie then can have a clean bed with clean sheets when she arrives on Thursday. Uh, what else have I done today then? I have been cleaning as I said. I actually showered the dog. My dog gets showered every six months and she was due for that and she did smell quite a bit because she rolls in the shit and all kinds of stuff when she's outside so yeah she gets a shower I got a shower then I clean the bathroom my dad actually helped me clean the bathroom so that's cool I cleaned the kitchen so that's also cool and that actually took us most of the day I had trouble getting out of bed this morning so I wasn't up out of bed until 11 in the morning so by the time we were done with all our chores it was like quarter to five in the evening so yeah 
that's taken most of the day. In the evening, I was chatting with friends. I've been chatting to Justin. Uh, Jessie was online later in the evening, so I've been chatting to her too. Uh, I have been chatting to a lady called Lacey Day. She is a member of the, actually she's the owner of the Friendly Flyers Room, which is a channel on our server, JJC Networks. I had a really busy day and I feel like I've been productive and productive is good. Tomorrow is also another productive day because I'm not finished with the cleaning yet. I am going to put some clean sheets on the bed as I've already said. We need to vacuum and dust the whole house so that's also going to take some time. And then I have to build something tomorrow. I've been teasing Jessie with this all week. And I can say it because by the time Jessie sees this vlog, she's already going to see the thing that I have built. And the reason why I haven't said anything to her and just been teasing her with it is because it's a little bit of money. It wasn't very expensive again, but it's a little bit of money that I've spent. And I know that if I say what I've done, she's going to say to me, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to spend money on that. So I have just been teasing with her and not told her exactly what it is or what I've done. But what I've done is, um, you've seen before upstairs, my wardrobe, my closet thing that has all my clothes hanging on it. The big, it's a big cam canvas, we call it wardrobe in English, a big canvas wardrobe and it holds all my clothes and everything that you, you've seen it before. Um, these canvas things are actually portable things. They come apart really, really easily. There's no screws or glue to put these things together. It's just like assembling a tent. And you can buy single ones. Mine's actually a, a more of a double thing that you use permanent, on a permanent basis. But you can buy single ones, which are also very portable. It's just like putting a tent together. You like assemble the poles by slotting them into each other. And then you pull the canvas over the top of the frame and there you have it. So I've actually bought a single portable wardrobe because if I didn't buy that, Jessie would be living out of a suitcase for two weeks. She wouldn't have anywhere to hang her clothes. So I bought a nice little portable canvas wardrobe for her to use to hang her clothes. And when we're finished with it, we can take it down and I can put it away in the, in like some in a closet, in a storage closet later on. And if we have other guests or if Jessie decides to come back, I can put it there again. So it's not a waste of money, it will be used. And uh, it's not going to be in the way when we're not using it because we can take it apart and put it away. So I'm going to build that tomorrow. It shouldn't take long. You guys can come and help me build that. Okay guys, I can't show you me building this thing because the batteries for the other camera aren't working, they're not charged, but I can show you the box, we can unbox it, and I can show you when it's finished, so, this is the box, and you can see a upside down picture, so you can see what it's supposed to look like, and then we can unbox it. It's already half unboxed actually. So we need to get it out of here. Come on, you know you want to. What do we have in the box? We have some poles. Come on. Lots of poles. And we have another pole and out that's the canvas cover when it wants to come out look guys it's just like building a tent and it didn't take more than 30 minutes to put it together Easy. In my hand. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Those packages that were being teased about in Jesse's vlog last week. <laughs> They're now on my couch. <laughs> my dog just wants to eat Jess. 
Yes. What you got, dog? <laughs> Get it. Matthew, you meant to get it harder than that. You're not meant to eat the paper either. Be in bits by the time the evening comes. <laughs> Do you want the other one? I'm gonna take stuff away when he opens it. You want the other one? Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm gonna take stuff away from that when he opens it. Otherwise, he eats everything at the same. Okay. Take that, thank you very much. <laughs> yep, one's enough. Yeah, it's like, yep. it's like a toothbrush thing. She's happy with that. Jessie okay. comes on vacation and she's working. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, it's good, isn't it? Good, yeah. I think I'm going to let your dad work now because you don't have a small knife. Uh, we do one. have a I'll small knife, that. but it doesn't chop onions. <laughs> I'll show you that. Anyway, if you're the one that's deciding we have a traditional Dutch uh, meal, you make it. <laughs> what? You're the one that decides we eat traditional Dutch food, so you're yeah. the one who's making it. Is your dad's cutting the onion? Yeah. He can cry. Somebody wants attention. And I'm not doing anything, I'm just sitting here being me. <laughs> Cracker runs away from the camera. Yep. Where do you want to plug it up? Very sh sh tiny? Very small. No, no, not very tiny. It normally comes in rings in, uh, in, the, in the stuff. If I put in a half a one. Like that. Oh. Oh, the smells terrible. <laughs> That's why I'm not peeling the onion. I'm just sitting here. Just eat this in an uh, fall or something. Fall? What? No, he doesn't. As the music stops. And walk forward if you want that. Where you going? <laughs> <laughs> then you're falling. Well, my brother got me into a uh, attraction uh, at the park. We went to my parents.
Good morning guys, it's Sunday morning, it's actually really early Sunday morning. For the last three days I've been out of bed before 10.30 in the morning. Isn't that scary? I'm scared. Are you scared? Yeah. Anyways, as you can see from the previous footage that you've just seen, um, I found Jesse. It was really pretty easy to find Jesse. I didn't record anything in the airport because I was kind of stressed and by the time I realized there was 10 minutes to go until her plane landed I was sitting there shitting myself and I don't know why because Jesse isn't at all scary but I was scared and uh, yeah I didn't record anything for that reason I was too busy thinking about oh my god what's gonna happen when she lands so yeah you didn't get any footage, but as you've seen, we've been busy the past couple of days. We have been to a museum called the Black Country Museum. We have been to a national park, which was called Queenswood National Park. It's Herefordshire's National Park. And we've also been to the village of Lempster. There's a little bit of footage from that, but I want to tell you that you're missing so. That's because Jessie takes pictures and makes footage as it's her vacation. So if you want to see that, I'm going to put an annotation somewhere like up here in this corner. Um, you can click on that and it will take you to Jessie's vlog and you can see what you missed because I didn't record it. Sounds good to me? Yeah. Don't forget you have to be over 18 to go and subscribe to Jessie. But do so because uh, she makes awesome videos and awesome slideshows and all kinds of uh, other awesome things. Anyways, I'm going to end my vlog for this week. I'm sure there will be plenty more footage and photos to share with you again the following week. There's more than a week of vacation time left for yes. So we'll do lots of things and we will share it with you. But until then, I'm leaving. I'm going to race to the shower before Jessie does. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.